Nice to be with you. What I'm really trying to do is get a message out that I've been practicing for about 35 years. And the message is really simple. When I was growing up, being chief used to be a level. Do you see what's going on in life? Now I'm using a business. And so to me, what was a level became a title. Now it's time to be a choice, a choice that everybody can make. There's really two answers to the question because it really was about making good choices and it was about having good luck. There's lots of things you can't control, but there's an awful lot of things you can control and it gets down to probability of success. So if I know who I am and then I can make choices about what I'm gonna do that kind of feed into that, then I become really powerful. So what I do, it's all about discipline, it's all about supporting other people and it's also about your creativity. And then who I am, it's all about my self-understanding and my values. To me, being present is being totally where, where you are. So right now, as I'm talking to you, I'm not thinking about tomorrow's meeting. I'm not thinking about yes, how yesterday's session went. And as a result, I think I'm enjoying this far more than being distracted by other things. So $13 billion quota, illegal activity over here. My boss basically puts a bullseye on my back and there's, there's pools, how long will Miller last? What I value is an opportunity to interface with students where they feel comfortable asking me what they think are tough questions. Do I have a heart? Um, I love the opportunity to learn. I love the opportunity to, to swap stories, to communicate. I mean, stuff happens. So if you can just get in the flow, life's a lot more fun. Okay, so take things one step at a time. Yeah, just slow down a little bit. We're here to create growth. And I'd like this next generation to step up to their opportunity to lead that growth. They've been called the next great generation. I'm incredibly optimistic because they are amazing people. I learn from them every time I get a chance to be with them. He was able to relate to us. And that isn't something that I think a lot of people were expecting. He seems to really go against the grain in terms of like what we were expecting from people in the top 1%. When people were asking him all these harsh questions, like, do you have a heart? Right after you, right after you explain his heart-melting story, and then you ask him, do you have a heart? And the way he responded was very inspiring, and it inspires me to be a better person. He made a conscious effort to connect with whoever was asking the questions. I thought Rick Miller was an incredibly present speaker. It didn't surprise me at all when he talked about how he meditated. When you go in depth and see his life story uh, and speaking so humbly, it's, 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 that, that changes perspectives. His story and just how his experiences and how he's not just somebody that got handed everything to him and learning that he worked for it and he actually had opportunities and he took those opportunities is inspirational. This man who is supposedly a part of the 1%, supposedly uncaring and unkind, is doing what he wants to help the world. And I thought that was the greatest thing. I enjoyed what he said today.